training superstars. So in today's training combo between Alicia and I, you're going to learn how a circle can change everything in your dressage training. So in this combo, Alicia gets to the point of me understanding and accepting that Flo needs to take a bigger step. Now, if I say to you, go and get your horse to take a bigger step, go and get your horse to do that, what's your answer? My answer was put leg on, <laughs> learn what to do, how to get that bigger step and how to impact everything about your dressage training with the use of a circle. Let's go learn. You go, oh, and that's what I would suspect. You probably have a little bit here that she's quite stiff and there's almost not the ability to take a bigger step. So that's when you start to go, right, what am I missing? I'm missing some suppleness. I have rhythm, super. I have enough suppleness that she can trot, but not enough suppleness that she can trot in the way I want her to, which is making her hind leg at the minimum step into the front leg footstep. So what could you do to create more suppleness? A circle. Yeah. And Is that wrong? You write a circle. And how tight would you ride that circle? You ride that circle to the side. I, I would go 10 metres because that's just what I think. Well, you, it, you can start, and don't forget, you don't have to go, I'm riding a 10-metre circle and stick to that 10-metre line for the whole thing. You can come off mm. the wall in your first part of your diamond in a 8-metre um, trajectory and then go, whoa, that's too steep. I'm going to change it to a 12. Whoa, that's not enough. I'm going to change it to a 9. You can adjust that trajectory. You can even have brought mission in the circle. So you can ride a little bit, then straight, then a little bit, then straight. It's just the idea that what you're trying to do is create a spread in her ribcage, a spread in her backbone that fundamentally makes one of her feet take a bigger step from a, from a physics perspective. She's almost got no choice. So if you ride a circle, mm -hmm. it brings the hind leg and the shoulder closer on one side. So you actually end up taking a bigger, stronger step and that then opens her up. Then you go onto the straight line, mm -hmm. see what you've got. Have I got more freedom? Have I got more looseness? Did that work? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Let's say it didn't. Let's say you got back onto the wall and you're like, yeah, well, I obviously I would turn the circle. So when I turned the circle, yeah, she was closer. But when I've gone back to straight, she's gone back to a little trotty, little, little this trot. What else could I do to increase the suppleness to make her more gymnastic to be able to do it? I might try then to go up a gear. So you might do the same circle line and strike canter, make it a very forward canter on the circle line. And then go back to trot with a bit of a leg yield um, on the circle in the trot on the last quarter of the circle as you hit the wall again to then find a way to gymnasticize her body to ask her to take that bigger step. Mm -hmm. And it's just okay. step by step by step those pieces remembering what's important so the reason why you're struggling a little bit in that warm-up is because you're just thinking is my horse straight but that's mm. not the purpose of the warm-up yeah the warm-up is is my horse straight that's tick one is my horse taking a steady even contact tick two is my horse mm -hmm. supple enough um for this stage of riding what are my measures a, is she rhythmical? Yes, she is. Great. B, is the trot pace accurate? No, it's not. Or in this case, mm, you know, I yeah, said it's not yeah. quite. You said kind of. So it's definitely not that's amazing, perfect trot, right? So then, you, yeah. then you've already deduced your hold. 
Trust you enjoyed that episode. Trust you are loving the use of the circles and the understanding of the circles or what we call the Durkle, which is the diamond because it's not a circle. And if you don't know what a Durkle is or you want to know how to love your Durkles, go check out the Dressage Institute. The link is in the show notes and learn how you can get the knowledge and the understanding you need to further your dressage journey. And remember, if you loved this, hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of our episodes. And we love comments, so comment below what your biggest learning was. If you've just watched this video, you had a grand time, but then you go and you don't cement the learning, you might not remember it. So comment below, take the time to take your brain to comment and articulate your biggest learning so it's on record and it will help sink in next time you go ride and train your dressage horse. I'll see you next time.